Rescue me. Rescue me. Help me. Monsters are chasing. Can you see? Can you see? Monsters are whispering. Can you hear? Monsters are shouting. You're nothing. You're nothing. Can you feel my pain? Monsters are pushing. And it all just jump. Can you hear all the wives? I'm asking. Monsters are laughing. <laughs> You're all alone. Darkness. Darkness. At 2 a.m. one morning, my aunt shook me awake. She said, Eli, I have a friend. He wants to say hi to you. He wants you to do a show for him. I was half asleep and didn't understand what was happening. But I tried to obey. Afterwards, I was shaking and sick to my stomach, but was told to go back to bed. I couldn't sleep. I buried my head in the pillow and cried and cried. That night had changed me. I became two-faced Ellie. My dark mask was worn at night. While at school, I would put my pretend smile mask over my dark soul and try to survive another day. My own family was out to destroy me. They stole my innocence. They stole my life. I became a two-faced robot with no soul. Ultimately, I lost myself. I let the darkness fill me and I wanted to die. first came here, um, I can notice that all, all her smile that she's showing to us, they're all fake. They're not real smile, they're not joy. It's not coming from the heart, it's coming from her past. She's trying to put a mask on that she's okay. Uh, I was talking with Ellie and as she was being rescued, one of, the last, one of the last things that one of her family members said was, be strong for your sisters. And so it's like she had a blank face here. And when talking with her, she just felt numb inside. Uh, but she tried as hard as she could to, to be strong for her sisters, but she could only be strong for so long. So after a month or so, after talking to her, really pouring out love and, and relationship, um, good godly relationship with her, she finally just burst out. After uh, two months, she came to our office and she said, I can't take it anymore. And she just wept and wept and wept for, for like an hour or so. And she just said, well, I miss my mom. But it's now finally sinking into me that what she's done to me is wrong. And it's not, uh, it's not real love. Um, so all her entire life, it's like fake Ellie. And so when we finally uh, poured in love to her and showing her the right love, the godly love, that only um, coming from the Lord Jesus Christ, she finally, yeah, you know, this is real love. One of my favorite moments was uh, she came to my office and I could tell something inside of her just felt different. She said, Pastor Stephen, I just want to sit down and talk with you. That glorious day, my incredible God came and rescued me from my sin, my anger, my shame, my pain, and He gave me a brand new life and a brand new name. I was now adopted as a daughter of the King and welcomed into the most loving family of God. We have been praying for her. We've been so fortunate and honored to be able to have somewhat of a front row seat and, 
and then being able to meet her in person and give her a hug in person was so special. It was one of the most special days ever. She gave me the most beautiful painting. This is the meaning of her painting. It's my heart that she saved by the love of God. He gave himself to the cross for me to be saved, to, to be his, his precious daughter. Mm. And he fixed me even though he got, he will, he got wounded. Mm. He fixed me and he loves me no matter who, what, no matter what I look like and no matter who I am. Heart of man shaped by the love of God. Heart of mine filled with his word. My broken heart scattered, but the love of my life picked its pieces and even though he got wounded, he willingly fixed me. Heart of man shaped by the love of God. Heart of mine filled with his word. My broken heart scattered, but the love of my life picked its pieces. And even though he got wounded, he willingly fixed me.